um to be honest it was never about going to iit i just enjoyed science and maths and i joined fitji because it gave me exposure to new concepts which school didn't teach me and i got to meet me very new people here like people who were very hard working and who achieved a lot so that's why i joined right. fitji and i always wanted to do well in j advance but it was never fixed ki iit hi jana hai i just had it in mind ki i might go there and the choices i've made on my journey have led me to go to iit but it was never fixed i just wanted to do well in whatever i was doing i started preparing for j in class 11 like i attended fit g from class 6 but at that stage it wasn't about j specifically yeah. it was just about getting to learn things meeting new people yeah. getting exposure to new concepts and we had exams like rmo nts you know and all at that time so for j preparation i basically followed the fit g system whatever assignments my teachers gave me i attempted them so basically i i should give credit to fit g for my j rank and my part also helped a lot in my journey the proper testing my part gave me was really helpful to ensure that i stay on track like there were distractions like sometimes i'd feel like i spent too much time on like like i didn't deactivate my social media accounts for j like many people do but i didn't so sometimes i feel like i spent too much time there but i always got back on track and as for failures failures did affect me but i kept my goal in mind and i always try to enjoy the process like i try to keep thing in keep things in perspective ki this is just an exam it is it doesn't determine your whole life so that sometimes helped me to handle the stress so there were failures and distractions but i always made sure to get back on track i didn't really choose my peer group like my peer group was were my batchmates at fit g so i didn't choose them we were just assigned the same batch so i had them but i will say that the peer group was a very important factor in my rank in j and a lot of my friends have got ranks very near to mine so i we all helped each other improve like sometimes your friend can just say one line and it will clear doubt you've had for months so that is something something that sometimes even teachers can't do so a peer group is very important i will say that but i didn't choose i didn't use too many books i mainly refer to the fitji packages and the material i got from fitji but there were some books that were really helpful like in physics i used hc verma for theory mainly and i didn't use any other source for theory mainly sometimes i'd use other sources for reference but hc verma was the main book and i solved problems from erodo and sometimes i used books like proto and pathfinder but mainly it was erodo hc verma and fitji material uh, coming to chemistry for physical chemistry i didn't use a book for theory i sometimes refer to op tandon for reference but no consistent theory book and for practice also i used only fitji material for in inorganic chemistry i highly recommend ncert everybody re- recommend yeah. ncert and ncert basically covers everything you'll need for je advance sometimes there will be questions which might seem a little outside from ncert and for that basically the fit ge mat- material was enough and for organic chemistry the book ms johan was really important it was very helpful i'll give full credit to it it really like opened up the world of organic chemistry for me it took me from like knowing a mechanism which somebody had told me about to being able to make up mechanisms on my own to being able to feel ki this mechanism is the correct one this is how this reaction should go for organic chemistry that book was very important and for organic chemistry the book solomons was my main source for theory and apart from that of course fit g classes and material Yeah. and for mathematics i didn't use many books i mainly relied on fit g material and the uh, fit g classes and for coordinate geometry i feel sometimes people do need to use some books for that i used sl loni and for calculus i used samir bansi other than that i relied on fit g like i mentioned before i use social media out my situation i didn't cut myself off from social social yeah. media so i talk to my friends sometimes that can be really refreshing 
both for them and me because they also they were also preparing for jerry so it was a needed break for both of us and i listened to a lot of music okay. i've had this habit of listening to music since class 6 and i listen to lots of music so music is all always a stress yeah. buster for me if i'm feeling low i can just listen to music for half an hour and my mood is suddenly much better than it was and olympiad maths was an important hobby of mine throughout classes 11th and 12th olympiad maths is different from j maths the syllabus is a lot different and the way they approach maths is a lot different so i saw it as a hobby not as something i'm studying maths se to matlab ye nahi ki study tha it was a hobby and i enjoyed olympiad maths a lot so that was also an important part of recreation it was definitely maths thing i like about maths is when you prove one thing there is no going back nothing's going to happen in the future that is going to change that like in physics and chemistry you have theories which explain what is going on whatever observations you're going getting in your experiment but you can't be sure that there isn't going to happen something in the future that is going to say that this theory is wrong like classical mechanics was a was a main theory of physics for a long time but in the 20th century it was all proven to be insufficient to explain everything but in maths there is no such thing if one thing is proven right it is proven right and i also like the abstract nature of maths like i don't care if something has practical applications if it is beautiful it is beautiful to me maths is like poetry in a sense the biggest challenge was the pressure and the competition it can get to you many times like you don't do well in a mock test and you suddenly feel like you aren't doing as good as you should be maybe your efforts are lacking somewhere you start doubting yourself so that was a big challenge and i learned how to deal with those emotions over the two years i wasn't very good at that in the beginning of my preparation like in class 11 but towards the end of my preparation i sort of knew how to handle those emotions how to channelize them into hard work and another big challenge is like j becomes a major thing for you for two years like nothing else in your life is more important for those two years so it can sometimes feel a little suffocating in the sense like you crave for the freedom you had used to have in classes 9th and 10th when you used to do anything you wanted to do but i guess the reward is worth the effort that's the sacrifice i mean i'm not sure about the hours but my whole day was really about j and d two weeks before the exam like i did the normal things like eating bathing and i talked to my family a lot those days it was great to help keep me calm i mainly talked to them while eating we all eat together and that's when i talked to them but other than that i'd be doing j related things the whole day so i can't put it into hours but the whole day was related to j the day before the exam i revised some chapters from inorganic chemistry that i felt i had the need to revise but in hindsight i don't think it was a very wise decision like if i have to advise someone i'd say just relax the day before the exam of course if you have something really important that you really feel the need to revise do that but if you can afford to just relax the day before i studied till like late in the night like till 11 in the night that day because like when you start revising things you'll find something else ki acha ye bhi nahi hua but then you study that phir ye mil jata ye nahi hua so you so that chain is hard to break that can lead to anxiety and i wish i had like taken like 5 6 hours to relax and just chill before the exam i don't know if i effect, if it affected my performance i just feel like it would have been better like if i had stopped 5 to 6 hours to relax the food part was all up to my mother i do i can't say what people who live in hostel should do because i lived at home so the food part was all up to my mother she ensured that i was taking care of my health that i was eating properly and if it wasn't for i i probably would have hurt my health a lot in these two years and apart from that i sometimes try to keep my snacking healthy like people often stay up late at night while they're studying for jee so at night sometimes i felt the need to snack so sometimes i'd end up snacking on unhealthy food so if that can be avoided that would be great so basically try to snack on healthy stuff and 
taking a walk is really helpful like if you're interested in a sport that's great of course like even if you aren't interested in a sport like if you're feeling stressed and mentally tired just taking a walk for half an hour can clear your mind and it's also great for your health so my part was helpful not only because they provided us with testing but also because because of the analysis part that came after the test because with my part i came to know about my performance with respect to my peers and i also came to know about which topics i was especially lagging behind in and my part also gave me the time i spent on each question so i was able to fix any errors i had in my test attempting strategy so i could fix even that so and i took a lot of tests on my part so over time i was able to build up a test taking strategy which maximized my score given my knowledge and of course it helped me identify my weak topics so it was very helpful especially towards the end of my journey i think the most important part is having the right amount of pressure like you don't want to be under so much pressure that your mind stops working that you're too worried about the outcome but you also shouldn't be too relaxed like in the first paper in the morning paper the paper passed in a blur and i didn't even realize it and the paper was over so i think you should always try to be present in the moment you should have the feeling that this is the last exam you're giving and it will determine everything but also you shouldn't be under too much pressure ki hoy na pae kuch so getting that right balance of pressure is very important and other than that you should follow the test taking strategy that you've developed by repeated testing but also be ready for any surprises jays don't to throw surprises at candidates so you should be ready for anything you should have the right amount of pressure and you should have belief in yourself that is also important i'll be staying in this field but i don't know what exactly i'll be doing i've left that up for the future i'll just try to enjoy these four years explore a lot and then i'll decide it will probably be something in the maths and computer science field but what exactly i do not know i'll just say like keep things in perspective like don't get let the pressure get to you just try to enjoy the process enjoy maths and science enjoy your classes enjoy talking with your friends like you'll have lots of discussions with your friends in these days so enjoy that don't let the pressure get to you understand that it's just an exam and it does affect your life a lot but even if you end up not doing well that doesn't end your life like you can still do well in life so keep things in perspective enjoy and keep working like if you're behind someone or someone is behind you in, in the matter of like test scores that doesn't mean that it will stay that way for long like these things can be changed by hard work so if you are behind people keep working hard and you'll surely be able to get ahead and if you're ahead don't get relaxed ki ab main to aage hu these things can change quickly so keep working hard and enjoy the process